well, howdy out there. Um, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, my name is Bill Rose, the founder of the American People's Liberty Party. And uh, I'm also an engineering electronic technician and the inventor of the world's first human brain waves to electronic speech computer system. And the original system's in a museum now uh, in Arizona. But uh, I was thinking, you know, if, if uh, we get 10% of our oil from the Middle East, that's not a hell of a lot. But uh, I was thinking that, you know, up north, um, the electric companies are co-ops. And the bills are like half as much as what they are down south. And I can't figure that out. Maybe some of you out there would have a, an explanation for that. But I was thinking, you know, we could cut our electric bills, ergo uh, use less uh, oil for oil-fired uh, electrical manufacturing plants, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. If we uh, switch over to D.C. so that light bulbs and... Uh, other appliances would run off of DC instead of AC. So the AC would come into your meter and after your meter uh, you would have um, a device that rectifies the alternating current to DC. Because you know your TV actually works off of DC because the AC comes into the, D the TV and then there's a rectifying circuit in there that changes it to DC. So basically, what we could do is put in a switching circuit so that the DC uh, is switched so that only 50% of the uh, actual current, DC current coming in, uh, would be sent into a large capacitor and then fed to your other appliances. And that would prevent, you know, kids from being electrocuted in the wall sockets because the wall sockets would now be DC and nobody can get electrocuted with DC. In other words, if the utility companies, the power utility companies, wanted to uh, cut down on on uh, the use of oil to fire their, to turn their generators or alternators or whatever they're using at the power plants, they could do it simply by putting in... Uh, a switching circuit maybe before the meter and uh, thus you would you would switch the electricity on and off let's say every half a millisecond so that you're only using half as much energy to run your utilities and all the light bulbs could be DC I guess you have to be a, a technician to understand what I'm talking about but um, instead of having constant power coming into the wall sockets there. Um, they would be switched on and off so that you'd only be using half as much power. Yet, all the power would still operate your TVs and all the other appliances that you have in your house. In vacuum cleaners, they could switch over to DC motors. Refriger refrigerators could switch over to DC motors. I don't know, maybe they are DC motors right now. But it uh, seems to me if uh, people got together and uh, put on their thinking hats, uh, we could cut our, our energy consumption in the homes by 50%. Certainly 10%. Then I wonder how come the United States government doesn't send out the Army Corps of Engineers to mine for gold to put it in our treasury. <laughs> 